The Cannabis Research Institute of South Africa is examining the effectiveness of medical cannabis as an alternative to opioids for chronic pain management. Now, a year-long study aimed to also provide credible, reliable and verifiable data to authorities around how it affects uh, people in terms of the credible um, and management of pain in different ailments that people may have in the country. We've got uh, Dr. Shiksha Gello, who is a cannabis clinician and a global cannabis leader joining us now uh, for more on this discussion. Dr. Geller, thank you very much this morning. And one would say that this is quite a revolutionary study that was conducted because it indicates that there are solutions to curbing this huge opioid addiction that we have across the world. Hi, good morning. Yes, thank you for having me. Yes, definitely. It's very exciting that we are able to, you know, have this research uh, where we can look at how can we wean patients off opioids to put them on medical cannabis, which we have seen is a really safe and effective uh, medicine. So we're looking at recruiting patients on the study to we see what, what will the outcome actually be. So there is sufficient evidence to actually show, uh, you know, with pain that cannabis can help. And now we want to prove it within the South African context. Right. What would the side effects be? Because we know with opioids, there are always some side effects that a patient would have to deal with. One would assume that with uh, a cannabis, this would be an entirely different experience. Yeah, so the, the side effects of cannabis is actually, you know, it's, it's actually not, not as bad as a very safe medicine. Firstly, the stigma when it comes to it being, uh, you know, addictive is not true because it sits on a 9% addiction rate, the same as, um, you know, caffeine, which sits on a 7%. Your uh, alcohol sits at 20% and then your... Um, your tobacco sits at 30% of your nicotine. So it's a very low, uh, you know, patients can actually not get addicted to it. The other side effects are very mild, things like a, a dry mouth, uh, increased heart rate sometimes with patients, and naive users that actually don't have the dosing correct can really have, uh, you know, a bit of psychosis, but that's with high THC. But if it's done within, controlled within dosages within a doctor and a medical professional, then actually those are the very mild side effects. Uh, very briefly, uh, Doc, if you could maybe just explain to us the regulatory environment uh, after the research. We do know that there are no certain policies currently with SUPRA as an example in terms of the effectiveness of cannabis medicines. Uh, how will you all navigate that space? So, you know, SEPRA does allow for medical uh, cannabis people to grow to the Section 22C license. However, there is no registered medical cannabis in South Africa as yet. And that is what the aim of the study is, to have a proudly South African medicine. So what we're looking at, once we complete the study, we're going to have a data set and we're going to use this for the medicines that we are creating in South Africa to apply for a dossier to SEPRA. And then we will be able to have a proudly South African medicine that will allow all doctors across the country to prescribe medical cannabis for pain for their patients. Mm, Dr. Dr. Shish, um, Shiksha Agela, thank you very much for joining us this morning. She's a cannabis clinician and global cannabis leader joining us this morning.